Going back to San Francisco, where Gavin Newsom, who would love to be running as the Democrat nominee for president, although good luck to him. I mean, he looks younger. He's got that going for him. He's not especially bright, um, really not like the most gifted mind, shall we say. Uh, That said, he's a politician. And because he's a politician, when his reparations task force comes forward and said it's a minimum of 360,000 for every black Californian, up to 1.2 million in reparations that they need to get instead of like sitting them down and saying, okay, like this is, you know, we got it. We got to move forward. We have to, I mean, look, I'm a woman. I didn't get to vote for a long time. Like my whole, you know, like women didn't get to vote. Women still don't have equal pay. Do you, are we, are we doing anything about, am I going to get 306, was it $360,000 or 1.2 million? No, this is, this is a direct attempt to divide us and to buy more votes. And so Gavin Newsom, being the politician that he is, was first presented with this. And he's like, no, 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 this isn't going to work. Well, he just changed his tune. And he's like, okay, it's on the table. It's everything's on the table. There's another part of this task force memo where they also said they want to give black people priority in renting and buying, um, buying properties it, they said that they should have the veto power, that, that a state agency should have the veto power over real estate decisions to lessen racial segregation. I think that has to do with sort of local districts that say, okay, you know what, this is like a, a fancy neighborhood, so we're not going to put um, apartment style housing here. And they want to say, no, 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 like that's not acceptable. The state has the right to come in. I guess I'm I'm kind of simple. I'm a limited govern, government kind of gal, so I would prefer that local communities have the right to govern themselves as they have previously in California. The other thing is that they want to repeal. This was buried in their in their task force, whatever folder or file, Prop 209, which was a voter approved law that banned pr- preferential treatment for minority groups applying to state colleges and state government jobs. And that happened, I believe, back in like 1996 or 1997. And they want to get rid of that. Look, we do have a, we have a tough history, right, as a country. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. And yet, yet, we did the right thing. And I would just say that at some point, Yes, it's bad, but, but there are ways to move on. And it's not through handouts. It's through offering more in the way of education, better government, and lower taxes, right? I mean, give people the power to prosper. Give them the opportunity. But when you've got communities like Chicago... You go to the south side of Chicago and you get so much violence on the streets and it's being run by a mayor who won't recognize this but still goes back to the same well that Joe Biden keeps going to. Well, you're not doing anything to help the lives of people. Those were kids that were out of school longer than most. It was, unfortunately, a lot of these poor urban communities that were out of school the longest after March 2020, that these communities suffered the most because those kids didn't have computers at home and computer savvy parents and printers where they could print their stuff. So they're not helping the people. They're not providing more opportunity. It's just an accumulation of power. And it's, it's sad to see. And I worry, I worry for the country 